The foundation's gonna be in depth. Fuck you, game developers. Fuck you. So you guys should know by now, I try to bring you the most important news, the most important stories, and, and the research that I do into the MMORPG genre mostly, but branching out into other things as well. I couldn't let this video pass by. This is no word of a lie. This is the game changer for the MMORPG genre. When I saw this pop up on Kickstarter, yes, it is on Kickstarter, by the way, um, I, I just couldn't help myself. I needed to talk about this. And the reason is, is because when I saw the just even the images for this game, I was just blown away. I, I truly was. So let's get into it real quick. This is called Dark and Autumn, a new MMORPG in the making. So when you see this, when you see this image, you know you can you can expect nothing less but the highest quality of game design. Now, there's some images in here. We're not truly interested in images because, you know, what can an image tell us that a video can't? So there are some some videos here. I'm not going to take you through the the basic foundation of Dark and Autumn because it's 16 minutes long and it's basically just words on a screen. That's not very entertaining. That's not why we're here. We've been fooled by projects before, you know, like Chronicles of Valyria, where they showed us pretty images and told us a lot of pretty words, and then it didn't turn into anything. But this game's actually got gameplay to show us. Um, as you can see here, adhering to the COVID-19 COVID uh, mask regulations, which is really cool. Uh, this is, of course, showing the character walking down a path, which is truly a revolutionary thing in the game taking very long strides um obviously trying to get somewhere in a hurry probably to stand on all the small people because it looks like the jolly green giant but this is it here this is the developer himself i watched the first seven seconds of this and i knew that i had to show you guys i knew i, I couldn't really sleep tonight if i didn't get this on your radar because this is up for backing if you want to back this you can only back um a custom amount and the, the packages start at 50. So for fifty dollars, you can get um, a play amount, access to the game, and a play amount. You'll have access to the game on release, alpha, and official release. Perhaps in-game rewards, for example, a free mount. Perhaps. So there's no promises here. You'll have access to the game, but you might get some other stuff as well. So let's just see what they have to say about it themselves. Hey everybody. Um, <clears throat> so what I am uh, presenting to you today here is a game called dark and autumn uh, it's a game that I've been working on um, for at least about three weeks now uh, my idea for the game uh, I've been uh, planning on making this game for at least a year now um, and recently I've been able to uh, start working on it um, so yeah the game is called dark and autumn um, it will be an MMORPG, and uh, I plan on making it uh, open world, hopefully. Um, and as you can see, uh, within three weeks, uh, the game looks amazing. You know what I mean? As you can see, it, within three weeks, the game looks amazing. I mean, who can argue? Look at this house. It, I mean, who would not want to live in a house that has red windows? I'm 90% sure I saw this asset pack. Somebody linked it me the other day. Uh, I think it's the one that um, Chronicles of Lyria are using, or it's very similar. Maybe they all just look the same at this point. Either way, it looks like that shit. And like, a, uh, well, I didn't say yet, but uh, I am a solo game developer. Uh, I am new within game development. Uh, I... I am using the uh, Unity 3D engine to... So it is the Unity asset game. pack. Um, so far, so good. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, a lot of systems going right now. I have uh, the the health, the health bar system. I have the uh, spell or skill. In three weeks, this absolute savant has managed to get a health bar system. He's managed to load up Unity, and he has some asset packs in there. Caspian, Jeremy Caspian Walsh, Chronicles of Valyria team. What the fuck were you doing for four years with $8 million when this man, this this absolute pioneer of the genre, has managed to stand up a game that looks, in his own words, it, just a humble man, amazing, in three weeks. He thought of the idea a year ago, no game development experience, loaded up Unity three weeks later, 
look at what he's accomplished. I mean, it's nothing short of miraculous, really. Uh, the skill bar uh, on the screen. He's got a hot bar. Um, I also have uh, attack, uh, weapon attack. You uh, can attack. A few weapon attacks. Holy way. shit, look at those animations. Um, Black Days Online, watch out. Is, 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 uh, going pretty that, good. Run, that run animation, I can't uh, even meme about that. That shit is so fucking bad. Looks like he shit himself. Yeah, I agree. Luscious. Fucking luscious. Moist. Um, and so right now I'm basically just uh work If the if the articulation of this man does not inspire you with with every bit of confidence then nothing that I say is is really going to. So we're going to we're going to skip forward a little bit see what else he's showing us. Uh, I've like I said I've not watched this video so this will be a surprise for all of us. I can't wait to see what we've got in store. Hopefully, he really loves uh, running down roads. I, I hope you like it. Um, I mean, how could we not? It's going to be um, very. Look at that the performance. The of the game is going to be uh, very in depth. Uh, the foundation's gonna be in depth. Fuck you, game developers. Fuck you. This man has has got it made. This man has got it figured out. The game development, the foundation of this game, is going to be very in depth. Fuck marketing, fuck PR, this man's got it absolutely nailed. I want to make sure that the crafting system within the game Very important. Uh, has a lot of variety, uh, a yeah. lot of uh, armor and weapon crafting, uh, enchanting. Don't go wild like now. Uh, the game will never get boring. Um, it will never there, get there boring. That is no word of hyperbole also, there. I, I want to have a A, uh, bo a boat system where um, like whoever wants to travel to you know a far distant land or whatever they can uh, get onto the, the ship and travel this man is explaining to us how a boat works he's explaining to us how a boat works I'm done I can't do it anymore um okay let's read risks and challenges now I know that we are living in uncertain times at the moment and that things can shift as quick as lightning and as a human being, sometimes things do not always go as planned, or changes may take place in our lives. However, no matter what the circumstances, I'll try my best to deliver to you not only what I promised, future players of the game, but to myself as the creator of Dark and Autumn. This is a dream of mine's that I will fulfill. Like I said, hard times do come, and they may come. And if there are any delays in the progress of making Dark and Autumn, I will most and foremost, let the audience of future players know. But with all that said, keep your hopes high and keep your heads up and smile for the future of this game and hope for the best because as of right now, I'm making massive progress even with the little time that I've been working on the game. <sighs> wow, just truer words, more poignancy has never been present before in a Kickstarter campaign. This man is truly truly a savant just a pioneer of the genre what more can be said long lasting design sustainable distribution the game will most likely be released via pc download most likely most likely be released via pc download digital download it's the same fucking thing and as of right now i'm not aware of any plans to having the game become physical who, who else is aware then but that may change in the future you never know but for now, when the game releases, alpha and official release, it'll most likely be through digital download means. I mean, you know, what can we pay for this? A thousand dollars? Access to the game? Your own town. Access to the game? Amount? Housing? Treasure of items? A chance of receiving rare equipment? A unique pet? And your own player town to call home? Maybe even for a guild you may want to create? <laughs> this is fucking... This, this has to be a meme. If this isn't a meme, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, this is not for you, brother. But you did give me some laughs. Hopefully it gave you guys some laughs. Uh, Kickstarter. I mean, no standards whatsoever on that platform, but this is... Ashes of Creation, watch the fuck out because Dark and Autumn's coming and it's coming hard. 
Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there. We're out. Peace.